five ways to naturally increase NDA NAD+. First of all, let's discuss why do you want more NAD+. Well, recently a Harvard study has come along and has been able to reverse the age of a mouse relative to a human by about 40 years. It was uh, relatively a 60-year-old mouse and they turned it down to about a 20-year-old mouse from a muscular perspective and from their skin and their physical abilities. This was basically a reversal on aging and the reason why they were able to do that was by producing more of the chemical NDA plus in our body and the body and the system. So basically what they're calling it is kind of a fountain of youth, a way to reverse aging, make you feel healthier. And uh, w there are many ways to accomplish this, but there are five pretty large and pretty easy to do natural ways in order to promote more NDA plus in your system. And that is what I'm bringing to you today. First and foremost, there is the keto diet. Now, uh, this has gotten a lot of popularity in recent months. Um, and that's because a lot of the really big bodybuilders and you know really big fitness professionals have started to follow it as well as Maricola and a few other larger um, you know health organizations have started to point out the benefits of the ketosis diet and how using utilizing fat as the primary source of energy can be beneficial and that is exactly what the ketosis diet is in the ketosis diet you uh, consume about 60% yeah, of your total caloric intake as uh, fat. Uh, you get about, you know, 20% of that is going to be, you know, proteins, and the rest of that is going to be through dietary fiber, fibers and carbs and stuff like that. But you're going to get the primary amount of your nutrition from meats and fats and stuff like that. So it's kind of contradictory and counterintuitive, but the interesting thing about the ketosis diet is that a lot of patients on diabetes are told that they need to go on to the ketosis diet in order to help reverse that. In fact, some lower st stage diabetes individuals can reverse diabetes with the ketosis diet. And if you're borderline, you can get away from the border very easily by going to the ketosis diet. So the more we see, it starts to provoke the question, should we be eating fat as our primary energy source and has have we just been wrong from a nutritional perspective for a while uh, it's very interesting to say the least but the one thing that we do know for certain is that diabetes individual people that um, have diabetes are told to go onto this diet uh, some of the most healthy people and diet you know strongest and physically fit people on the planet have been using this diet for quite a while so there has to be something to it and now we see that it also improves NDA plus which is a very very useful and beneficial thing that will lead to you feeling and looking younger. This segues very nicely into the next, which is regular exercise. Now, I know what you're thinking. Are you kidding me? Really? Working out makes you feel better and makes you feel younger? Well, yeah, and it kind of makes sense. It's pretty obvious, and it's one of those things to whoever, it shouldn't even need to be said. It should be a given, but a lot of people don't really put that two and two together. Um, the, rele the additional release of the NDA Plus in the system due to regular physical exercise makes a lot of sense because you see those individuals that work out on a consistent basis and you know they look and feel young they're active they're more vibrant they have more energy and i mean i guess it just correlates so much easier and uh, you know is so much more of an obvious thing to do but it is definitely something that improves your circumstance and is going to increase that youth building you know chemical in your system that's going to allow you to feel look and act younger now, this one is one that I personally love, and that is going to be the access to a sauna or heat exposure. Obviously, with limitations, you don't want to overexpose yourself to heat. Uh, you know, there are you know places in Sweden and other places wherever uh, saunas have competitions because they get so hot. Um, and they're like, you know, huge competitions that have stadiums and, you know, those can be very, very dangerous. You don't want to overexpose yourself to heat. But spending a little bit of time in, this, in the hot box is definitely something that is going to be beneficial. It's going to promote, uh, you know, uh, more blood flow into the system. It's going to, you know, promote more NDA plus in your system. It has actually been shown to increase those levels. So if you've got a gym, it's got a hot box. Whenever you finish your exercise as a part of your regular exercise program that you're going to implement, after this video right then you can just jump into the sauna for a few minutes afterwards to help uh, give you a, even more of an additional boost on top of what you're already doing for your system 
Next is fermented foods, and that is because of the mighty, mighty lactobacilli. It is a bacteria that basically produces NDA plus as a byproduct of the process. And this is super interesting if you really go into the details and the nitty gritty of it all, uh, because you know, of course, things like kombucha and, you know, uh, which is shown here um, is uh, going to be something that's there, but also kimchi and a lot of other fermented foods that you might not find as easily in the United States. They're starting to become a little bit more prevalent, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they're by any means common. But the reason why this is so cool is because even though um, bread has never really, you know, been recommended as healthy, a if you go back older into the older times, the original fermentation method utilized lactobacilli, and uh, the lactobacilli also helped uh, destabilize some of the gluten process, which makes it a little bit less intense on your system. But um, you know, I wonder if there's going to be a more of a production of NDA plus inside of those bread products that were fermented with the original style of bread making. Because nowadays we have these rapid rise yeasts, wherever they don't go through the same process where we actually use live uh, bacterial cultures in order to produce bread products and uh, we get to see it across the board of uh, negative effects of uh, the carbohydrates that we consume as a species right now so very interesting um, you know it connects well with the ketosis diet because you know it might not necessarily mean that you know in america you know we have to eat fats or whatever or that eating fats is the only way it might mean that the bread products that we have been consuming and the things that we have been taking in were just not created in the right way through fermentation thus leading into um, a significant you know issue with our dietary systems just not developed or evolved to deal with it so very interesting and then the last one sliding out as the thing that you can do the fifth number five is going hungry now this one is also very interesting because if you read a lot of the celebrity diets especially like the wolverine diet which is a pretty famous one um, and a lot of people that acted in a similar way they call it a fasting diet where it's 16 hours of no eating and then a mad dash of eight hours eating and it's been able to show that whenever you are going hungry uh, your body starts to produce more of the NDA plus and actually um, you know produce that more into your system and when that happens you know obviously the NDA plus leads to more youthful feelings and I mean you know it's better for your system overall and I mean that's the goal that we're looking for is to add in more NDA plus so it's definitely something that is useful but it also correlates and we can see that in the dietary programs that are out there today wherever some of the you know fittest people on the planet they will do a fasting diet if they want to you know get that crazy six pack or anything else like that so it makes sense and it's just another thing that it is common sense that it works but pointing it out and showing it together as one you know big synchronous uh, message I think really shows why this NDA plus is this common link that has been underneath all these other things uh, diabetes I mean you know you've got uh, going hungry you've got fermented foods and all these other things that we've kind of stopped doing or getting away from that ultimately lead to a decrease in this chemical which means, means we're aging faster and we're you know running into a lot more health problems so overall it is definitely something that uh, you know I wanted to make sure and point out and bring to you guys uh, five natural ways to do that uh, if you're still interested in that if you're still interested in learning more about NDA plus in your body you can go and visit NDA forever and uh, I can show you the uh, written you know, article on how I go a little bit more in depth onto those products and the five natural ways to do it but I also go ahead and talk about ways that um, you know you can do that or supplements that you can take and things that you can do in your daily life that will also help you feeling young so definitely uh, Take a look, jump over there, let me know what you think in the comments below, and I sincerely appreciate your time. You guys have a good day, and I will see you in the next video.